In Sweden today, you have nothing to gain from saying anything negative about immigration or the refugee crisis, even though you're right. You will lose people you thought were your friends, and you might even lose your job. This has even happened to people who have just very mildly criticized Sweden's immigration policy. They have been branded as racists, and it has severely hurt their careers. Here in Sweden, a lot of Swedes say that they vote the way they do because they care for other people. They feel a responsibility to help the world. This is an admirable trait, if properly directed. But in its current form, guilty Swedes are missing their targets for several miles while stigmatizing their fellow countrymen. You see, the people that they want to help will never make it to Sweden. People here seem to think that refugees can just whip out a boat and start rowing, and that both rich and poor people have the same ability to make their way to Sweden. But here's the catch. It's both expensive and extremely dangerous. People who have money and those that are reasonably healthy can make the trip to Sweden, but the sick and the poor will be forced to stay behind in giant refugee camps without the aid they need. All this just so our idiotic government can store those who could make it here inside ghettos where they will fail to integrate into the Swedish society. But how do I know they have money and why is it relevant? Am I just being a dick here? Well, because of the banal shit a lot of the refugees bitch about, it would be a fair assumption. If we open the window, it's coming very, very cold. If we close the window, our breath is uh, six persons in one room is not healthy. A person who is facing certain death if he would return to his country tends not to bitch about the size of the apartment given to him by the Swedish taxpayer. A person facing public whippings upon returning to his country doesn't bitch about not liking where he's been sent to live just because it's up north and cold. A person who fears for his own life tends to manage pretty well anyway. Complaints like that are common and they speak volumes of the level of comfort a lot of these people are used to. People who bitch about stupid shit like this are not the people that need to be here. And the sad part is that the people that really need to be in Sweden for their own protection, they don't have the means to make their way here. I'm not at all saying to hell with all refugees. All I'm saying is that the current system we have in practice here in Sweden does nothing to help those who need the help the most. Those who really have nothing and are dying, they will never see Sweden because they don't have the means. And our government of clowns are currently making sure that we won't have the resources needed to help the people who truly are in need. So what the hell are we doing here in Sweden? That's a great question. You can ask our sad excuse for a government. Because they're treating refugees like they are little lost puppies while stroking their own dicks over how moral they are for each one of them they save. All while leaving the majority of real victims behind in the camps, way too close to conflict zones. So fuck this shit. This is completely retarded. And I'm asking anyone watching this outside of Sweden to do me a favor and share this video. Because here in Sweden, you really have nothing to gain from trying to talk about it. My zipper. I want you. Stop. Stop. This is, oh, you know what? You're like a child. Talking. If you just one time. Zip it.